Hello everyone, welcome to the second tutorial of C++. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach everyone how to find out the area of the circle by using a simple C++ code. So let's start. First, we'll simply go uh, to our start page. Or we can open it from here. Let's go to file, and then new, and then project. Okay. So we'll choose CLR empty project and we'll name it area of a circle. Now we'll go to the source file and open a new file and name it P1. But first we have to make sure that it's a C++ file and now we'll just simply name it P1 which is short for project 1. So let's start. So, uh, first of all, we'll just write the simple basic code which is necessary for all the C++ uh, programs. Hash include iostream using namespace std void main opening the bracket closing the bracket system pause okay so the name of our project is finding out the area of the circle so we can write it after double hash because it is not counted by the compiler area of the circle so let's work on it first we need to determine that what will be what is what are the variables which are needed to find out the area of the circle and what is the type uh, what is the type of these variables if it's either numbers or it's character or it's floating point so I'll just simply write float because it covers numbers characters integers all that stuff so float I need a which is for area I need R which is for radius and I need pi and I'll give a I'll give pi a fixed value of 3.14 so the formula of area is a is equal to pi r square so all the these three cover the formula now I'll simply write c in which is our input r okay and after that no. Okay. After that, I'll write the formula which is A equal to pi into R into R. That is A is equal to pi R square. And then C out is equal to A. R is capital, make sure, because over there we've written capital. and over here C out is A okay let's write endel as well now let's just debug it and let's see what happens so first we just need to uh, enter the value of radius so if we simply enter 1 then we know that our answer should be 3.1 uh, 3.14 because the pi is 3.14 which is multiplied by 1 so it's 1 now in order to make our program more likable we can do some modifications like over here we can write C out please enter the radius okay now the C out and these quotation marks anything inside the quotation marks is the output on the command prompt which is the black screen so and over here we can make a small addition that C out the area is and then area and end L so let's debug it now and let's see what happens okay some there is some error let me just check 
E okay. Yeah, I didn't put semicolon over here. So let's check now. Hmm. There seems to be some error which I don't know what it is. Okay. Let's debug it again. Yes, I na now I know. Over here I need to put this. Let's debug it now. Please enter the radius one. The area is 3.14. So here you go. There is the program. There were two mistakes that uh, I didn't see, which is uh, a semicolon over here and these marks over here. So this is the program, which is uh, this is the code we use to find out the area of the circle. Um, in order to make some modifications over here, for instance, we need to find out the force uh, on a moving body. So let's just uh, do that example as well. Force on a moving body. So we instead of a r and pi, we need f, m, and a. So yes, uh, f is equal to m into a. And over here we will write please enter the mass and the area and over here C in will be mass and area so yeah uh, this will be the change and over here we will instead of A we will have F and the force is now let's just debug it Uh, okay, wait. Please enter the mass and the area. Okay. Yes, now let's debug it. Please enter the mass and the area. So, for example, I just enter 1 and 1, both the mass and the area, then the force is 1, which is correct. So, this is uh, my C program uh, to find out the force on a moving body. We can, we can adapt to the formula. Like, if we have, for instance, we need to find the circumference of the circle, then we have uh, 2 pi RL or 2 pi r so we'll just make some modifications over here and we can manipulate the code to find out anything we want uh, yes this is pretty much it thank you so much for watching goodbye